Okay, I want to remind everybody, the visions I had, one, I saw Christmas. I saw the EMP happen over Los Angeles, and there were some Christmas lights out. I'm just saying. So, if we get to the point to like January 10th or whatever, and all those Christmas lights come down, you can you can know that you're going to have all of the uh, spring and summer until next Christmas when those lights start to come back up. Because that's what I saw in the vision, and that's why I think it's going to happen very soon. Okay? Now, another vision I had, and I never said this, but I saw, and I think it was in New York, but the vision, I, and it was, I'm not, I can't remember if it was a dream or a vision, but I remember it clearly. Um, in the dream, there was a girl who was dressed up like she was out to go party that night. She had like her mini skirt on, and they were all out having a good time, and then the power went out. And I remember the lights on, on a lot of the cars were, some of the cars were still running. And so there was still light on the, on the busy street. And I think it was New York. There's still a lot of lights that were still on, but the power went out and it was the EMP. And she was just so upset it ruined her night. And she was the type of person, I remember in the vision, she was the type of person who never really followed the news. So when people were talking about, oh, this might be the EMP, this might be... The, she was like, the what? And people were talking about North Korea and all this on the street. And she's like, what are they talking about? She had no idea. She never... She wasn't into... You know, maybe she was a student and just never read the news or watched the news or whatever. But she was just upset that it just messed up her night. So that's another vision I had. So, what I'm saying is, the other thing the Lord told me is 2017 belongs, of course he tells me at the end of 2017. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't have been publishing all those videos saying, it might happen any minute. But he told me that 2017 belonged to him, that number 17 is his number. But the number 18 is the devil's number, and that he's given 2018 to Obama. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what he said. And I remember thinking, well, why you have me thinking it's going to happen all, every time? And you know why? He said, because there's people out there that need to get ready. And they got ready each time I said it would happen. And they still have supplies from the first time I said get ready. <laughs> or at least I hope. So maybe there's somebody out there when I said, oh, it's going to happen on the 4th, November 4th. God told me in November. Maybe you went out and bought a bunch of canned food and put it in, in your closet and then nothing happened and that food is still sitting there and then i said oh it's gonna happen on the 23rd or the 25th or the 27th or the 8th or the 12th i thought it was gonna thought something was gonna happen on the 12th i'm just saying get ready get ready and praise god jesus is lord time is running out get your heart right with god Listen, tell your family members, get on your face and pray. They're not going to do it. And then tell them, well, when World War III happens, you will. Oh, you'll be on your face in prayer. Just saying. That's what they don't understand. They think they own their own life. They don't understand that this is about to happen. And when it does, they're all going to go, That guy on YouTube was right. Or... They're going to say, he was wrong anyway. I never, I never agree with him, any, no matter what he says. He said, and even though when I said, the Lord showed me two weeks, and that was November 4th, which was the day Antifa declared war. And then I said, it's going to happen this week, at the end of this week. And then all of a sudden, literally the next day, Kim Jong-un launches, starts launching rockets again after four months. And Donald Trump had already gone to China and Japan and South Korea, and had attempted to go to Russia to negotiate with them, and Donald Trump had already done all that, he had just come back, and the Lord tells me at the end of this week, and boom. So it was like, Donald Trump had just exhausted himself trying to do something, and it failed. And then just recently we find out that it is indeed Russia and China. Now listen, the significance of all that fuel Okay, you guys need to understand, they take that fuel 
that, that was just supplied from Russia and China, North Korea takes that and uses it to make rocket fuel. That's what you guys don't get. When Russia and China delivered those two tankers full of fuel, that was like them saying, ha ha, Donald Trump, we're launching nukes from this guy right here. Just saying. Ooh, it's about to happen, you guys. Get ready. I know I've been saying this for the last two years. It's about to happen. <laughs> but like I said, if we get to that point where all the Christmas lights come down, we're in the clear until next Christmas. I can guarantee you that. But things are heating up pretty bad right now. And those Christmas lights are all coming down right now. And that girl who was partying right now is putting on that yellow dress.